Hey, welcome to everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borek, and Travis Sanheim and Team Canada are off to a fantastic start in the IIHF, winning their first two games as they are able to take them down. As they have Dreger in net for one, and then for the other, they of course had Logan Thompson, who was able to step up for the Knights at the end of the season in cage. Before we get into it, please continue to subscribe down below or above the easy use widget to keep it grown to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. But let's get right into it. Cole Sillinger was able to snipe one to start it. Then um, Dubois goes to the opposite side and snipes one as both of them keep the puck on edge. Don't allow it to settle to fool the goaltender in cage in Philippe Grubauer. But then the Germany battles back as Mark Michaels was able to score in a very nice assist by Morris Seider. But then Dubois on the spot, Pierre-Luc Dubois was able to score on a power play as you can't put Team Canada on the power play, and they were able to capitalize as Dubois scored, and then again on the power play, <clears throat> Kent Johnson was able to score, and that was really the difference of this game. Germany taking bad penalties that put by far one of the most lethal power plays in the tournament, if not the most, on the power play. And they capitalized twice, via Ken Johnson and via Pierre-Luc Dubois. And then they sealed it with that absolute wire shot by Noah Greger. But then you did have Germany. The thing that I did like from Germany is they did show fight in this game. Stutzla had a very nice assist to Plotzta. And then Seider, Stutzla also had another very nice assist. So yes, I thought Canada played the much better game. The deserving team won this game. But it was nice to see from Team Germany's perspective that they showed that fight back battle against a team like Team Canada, who is coming off of a off start to a tournament. Obviously, last year they lost the first three. This year they're able to win the first two. So a great start for them as they're able to win 5-3. And even though Germany showed a late push, Canada was still able to fend them off. And then in their second game of the tournament, Canada, even after giving up the first goal to Italy, was able to smoke them and do what most people would have had pegged against the Italians as they beat them 6-1. to one. But Phil Petroniero did start it on a very nice play and assist by Brandon McNally. Uh, Phil Petroniero was able to wire one home. So Italy did get off to a nice start, but that's all it was as Sandheim was able to shoot a nice slap shot from the point. Josh Anderson was able to score a nice deflection goal that Mayo was able to shoot, who had an absolutely fantastic, was clearly a star of the game for them in this game, Dyson Mayo. Ken Johnson then sniped when Nick Ross scored one in front of the net. And then back to Dyson Mayo, who was able to snipe one uh, for their fifth goal. Mayo playing great defense in this tournament thus far in the first two games for Team Canada. And able to get an apple and a goal against the Italians. In this game, excuse me, they had Dreiger in cage. Justin Fazio, you can just see that he's just not up to speed, obviously. He's not a... I don't really know much about him, but I would assume he's not a bad goaltender over there or anything like that. But when it comes to international play, playing against elite talent like the Canadians have, like the Kent Johnsons of the world, uh, you're not going to be able to uh, fare that well when you're kind of a step behind and you're just not that A-level talent. You're kind of a C-level guy um, as a goaltender. So it kind of showed that the Italians are obviously not up to the snuff of even like France and other they're still building up their hockey program there where obviously that did show in this game where there were a couple goals that I don't think other goaltenders that are more advanced would have allowed but that's nothing against their goaltender that's just an observation I didn't think Fazio had a good game at all where Gregor's goal for example a lot more goaltenders would not cheat as much to one side so you could just easily have a backhand breakaway but anyway that's my assessment on it. I thought Team Canada had a great first two games. After having a struggle bunny tournament to start last year, they're able to beat Germany 5-3. to three. Germany, who's a very skilled roster themselves, did bounce back but still lost in the end. And then they whop Italy, even though Petroniero did score the first goal. So Canada goes up, and they're down, or they're up, excuse me, two games to O in this tournament as they won their first two after losing their first three. Last year, as they try to do the opposite this year and win their first three as they take on Slovakia tomorrow, who's going to be a very tough task because Team Slovakia is a very good one this year, one of the better teams in the tournament. They did just lose a very tough 2-1 to goaltender battle um, to Team Germany 
But that might even fuel them more to come in and play a great, spanking good game against Team Canada. But we'll have to see. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the widget to keep the channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the end of the month and the start of June. Please continue to enjoy the IIHF Worlds. This has been a video on Team Canada getting off to a blazing start after going 2-0 against Germany and Italy. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.